All right, you guys, welcome. It is Monday, November 29th. If you were here before the recording, I was rambling on about not knowing what tea to drink on my day one of the three-day refresh. So congrats to everyone who finished day one. Congrats to you guys who are doing it soon. If you've never done it, if you never think you're going to do it, I would just encourage you to do it one time, right? Do it one time, get super, super, super strict on your nutrition for 72 hours. And you would really be surprised just how much, how many habits you can kick in a short period of time. Now, granted, I do this like once a quarter because those habits creep back in, right? But I know it's time to do it when I'm like, I just haven't been super strict on nutrition. And you know how I know it's, I haven't been super strict. It's when vegetables, like when they taste really good to me, when I do the refresh and I have this like super clear break of bad foods, vegetables start tasting really good. Like I was actually enjoying my beets. If you haven't had raw beets, don't knock it till you try it. And my hummus and my mashed up avocado today. Cause like, that's all I knew I could have. And my body was enjoying the actual dense food. So anyways, off my soapbox about that day one is done. Let's get into tonight's call. I'm super excited. I feel like I'm excited every week and I am. We have so many things to celebrate, like so many things, like the fact that something is brewing this week, I can't even talk about it. And I'm going to talk about it because it's a, it's hopefully inspiring to you guys where I'll get to that in just a second. But first I wanna go over announcements and recognition. I first wanna recognize our coach rock star of the week. We shouted out Crystal Sumner yesterday. Uh, she has been rocking it with consistency. If you guys don't know, she's been, uh, she travels like all over the country with her son who has medical needs. Um, and she's been showing up, like she's leaning in because of a crazy schedule, not in spite of a crazy schedule. So she also successfully completed the job one test group. So she did her 30 days. She's already through the program. She loved it. She's excited to do it again. So in the midst of traveling back and forth coast to coast, she also went live in the job one snoop group and shared her experiences. And she didn't have to do that. Like she could have told me she was too busy, but she was happy to do it. Um, and I just am so excited that she's here and leaning in and congratulations, Crystal. I know all this momentum for you is building and I just can't wait to see what comes of your business. So I also really want to shout out. She could not be on the call tonight because of, um, she's still traveling for the holiday, but Tessa Brown just hit a massive accomplishment. You guys, I told her I was going to shout her out tonight. So she's probably watching the recording and shout yourself out, but please reach out to her. This is so huge. She just hit her 24th month consecutive of success club. That means in November of 2019, two years ago this month, she came to me uh, consequently three months before she was let go from her job. She did not have any idea that was happening. And she told me that she wanted to take her business seriously. She had been a, like a hobby coach before that, but something shifted in her two years ago. And she's like, no, I, I have to make this business work. She took away her plan B, even when she still had a full-time job, right? So that month is when she started to set her line in the sand, which is just what happened to me in May of 2014. And she said, I will never not miss a month of helping people, at least three people. And she hasn't. So two years, and she was at Success Club Zero two days ago. She said, no, I think she was at two, sorry. She was at like, heck no, I'm not gonna let this month go by. I'm going to make my goals happen. And she's already at, I think Success Club six or eight and she's pushing for 10. So if you're looking at the clock and you're like, it's November 29th, I'll just wait till job one launches. Well, that's not really the mindset of someone who's making helping people a non-negotiable, right? Let's just call it like it is. That's kind of relaxing. And you're not here to relax. You're here to build a business. So please congratulate her. That means not only with all the amazing recognition, she gets floor seating at Summit, y'all, like where elite coaches sit, premier coaches sit, success club all-star legends get a seat on the floor at the main ceremonies for Summit, which we're all going to finally be at next summer because that's a massive accomplishment. So congratulations, Tessa. That is so huge. So, so awesome. Let me get back to my notes. Um, and then here's the thing. Here's the other like really crazy thing. We have two, three days three days to go, as long as we hold right where we are, right? No one drops rank at this point, no crazy cancellations. I'm not, I'm not entertaining that idea. We will wake up on Thursday morning, officially locked in as a 2022 premier team, which is amazing. But here's the more amazing part. And I know we've got, I'm not gonna jinx anything, but we've got someone on here who hungry doesn't even describe her drive to make a goal happen in the next three days. And this girl is one coach away from diamond being a diamond coach. So when this girl, I have every belief and intention, she's going to make her goals happen. 
goes diamond. And I mean, it's going to happen. I just, it would be cool if it happens by Wednesday, right? We will not only lock in premier on Thursday, we will lock in elite on Thursday. Like we will be one of 175 coach teams in the entire 400,000 plus coach team networks that get the title of elite team 2022. And I say that because yeah, blow it up. I mean, you guys know it's no secret. This girl is on freaking fire, but I say that because it's never too late. You guys, nothing is out of your reach. And if you're sitting here like, well, I'm a failure, I'm at success club zero. You get to decide if you keep wanting to grow and have success in this business, because when you have belief, action, consistency, and you just don't quit, things happen. Now you can't just be here a year from now chilling. You got to show up and do the work. But I'm telling you to trust the process, you guys. Two months ago, I thought elite could never happen. I was like, I dropped the ball. Like I didn't develop leaders early enough in the year. I did, didn't recruit enough, whatever, whatever. And then I had to take like a pill of my own medicine and say, stop it. It's not too late. And you are not doing your job if you don't share the vision and do everything that you can do, Ashley, because that's the only person you can control. And then I took my own medicine and I got back to work. And so whatever happens on Thursday morning, just know I am so proud of you guys. And if we do wake up, not only a premier team, but an elite team 2022, then yeah, pick a crazy reel. I'll get Brian, like Brian will dress up. I'll get him involved in this because he knows how much this means to me. We'll do a crazy couples reel. We'll do something like I just, I mean it, but we want to have fun. But it's just such a good lesson in knowing that nothing is ever too late. It's not too late for you. And everything that you're doing on this team, whether you are our next diamond coach or you held your rank, you matter. And your, your goals of showing up help this team. So thank you. I see all of you just know that if you're like, well, my time has passed. I'm, I've signed up so much time ago and nothing's happened. You can decide any day that to stop telling yourself that story. I had to stop that three years ago when I was stuck at the same rank and told myself the same story over and over and over. And I started telling myself a new story. So all that to say, ah, oh, you might see me. I mean, it's a good day. Time I'm in the refresh. It's a lot of bathroom visits. Like there's a lot going on with my anxious excitement, but I will be updating you guys on Thursday with whatever happens, but just know I'm so proud of this team and I can't wait to celebrate with you guys in person at summit, but I hope to see a lot of you guys before then. Okay. Now announcements, and then we will move on to our topic. Did I miss anything in the chat? Hang on a second. Yeah. We're just all shouting out. I know we have a successful all-star legend. We have someone who is pushing for diamond. Like we've got all these things. We've got things happening that I could not even have imagined one month ago. Like, oh my gosh, the stuff that can happen when you're on fire for your own vision. Like you attract people that want to do this with you. You really, really do. Um, but that's a whole other lesson in itself. So our job one snoop group, the posts have been scheduled out. I'm also doing a countdown post. So you guys, we launch in three days. Now tonight is all about not letting November pass you by. Don't sit on this and just think success club and helping people is going to happen on Thursday. Know that anyone that you sign up preferred customer coach today or tomorrow, I literally am like sending a share cart tonight. They not only get the 25% discount off of the access to job one, they get it 50% off. Okay. So they get the sale price of job one, if they want to unlock it on Thursday, plus 50% off of that. So it's, it's a massive discount for them if they want to get job one, but don't let them miss out on the total solution challenge pack sale today and tomorrow. That's where the $20 off $140 total solution packs are happening. So don't let that pass you by. Okay. That is happening from today until tomorrow. And our job one snoop group is here's the thing. You want to make sure you're tagging people in posts like Facebook algorithms are so weird. You know that if someone's not really engaging in a group, they're probably not getting notified. So please don't use the group as like, well, I got them in there. They're good. No, I'll talk about this after we do our, our little topic, but have a list of names, a list of names that people of people who expressed any interest in job one. Okay. Yeah. Get them into the group if you can, but make sure you have a list of names somewhere that, you know, you've been continuing that relationship with them. You've been following up with them, asking if they tried the sample workout yet, telling what you thought of the sample workout, have a list of names, you guys. The launch is obviously on Thursday for uh, coaches and preferred customers. My plan is to start the job one on Monday, December 13th. And I'm saying that because some people might need to get equipment and they're realistically not going to get equipment by that by next Monday if they order on Thursday. Like if they need their resistance loops, they're not going to come in 
probably in four days unless they do expedited shipping. So to accommodate those people and to also give myself a little bit longer, because I want to start with a group of people on the 13th, that's my personal launch plan for it. Now, my bod group starts next Monday. I don't run two separate groups. That's just me. You, you might, it's your business, um, but I run everything in the same group. So I'm just going to have a group of people also do job one with me, uh, customers and whoever runs my bod group, whoever is in it. I might do like a group message with them, but it's all in the same group for me. I know some coaches that run test groups, strictly test groups only, and they have another ongoing group. That's great. Like whatever works for them. You guys know me, I'm just simple and I don't want to do things that are complicated. So I don't run two separate groups, but I am really leveraging the, the start date for me and the people that want to do it with me as December 13th. Okay. Uh, just so you guys know, if you run your own group, my December bod group, uh, Google doc is up in the guide section of team glow, a couple changes. I took out the book club for me personally, for my group for the month of December. I just think it's one month. I'm not going to do a book club. Things are super crazy. And I just don't want to add to overwhelm right now. I just want to add, I just want to be, keep it simple. Don't backslide. Let's just show up and take care of ourselves. So this is the one month that I'm not going to do a book club. Um, I will pick that back up in January. And of course I make it optional. It's not required. Required, but I just don't want to do that for December. Uh, December Collective, you guys, it is an, a pinned post now. It's an announcement post in Team Glow. We talked about this Saturday morning, but a lot of us notice like our BOD group participation can be lower, obviously in November and December. And if, if you're not bringing new people, let's call it like it is, your BOD group probably feels a little stale, right? The only reason I feel like my BOD group is on fire is because I constantly have my loyal people that show up and I'm constantly adding new people to it month after month, okay? Because some people jump in and some people don't. But my thought was, if we all came together and shared email addresses, you can invite each one of us to join your BOD group. I think you can. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. I think the way it works is you can invite anyone to join your BOD group. Um, so when I posted that, you'll see emails listed under that post. All you need to do is go to your BOD group and invite those coaches to join your BOD group. And the reason we're saying that is what would happen if how your bod group is now, what would happen if you had 10 to 20 more people checking in each day on it, right? Now, not with like the daily challenge and all that. I'm not telling you to get super involved in someone else's group, but I'm saying log your workout, log your shake, have it go to however many groups you're a part of and turn off notifications for all the groups except the one you run. So if you do that, you're only checking into your own group, but your workout and your Shakeology posts are going to help all these other teams by showing up in their news feed as well, right? So you might be like, hey, I, I just started my group and I have like five people in there. Well, how would it feel to have 20 check-ins in there, right? Like maybe only five people for your daily challenge, but you see all these other coaches share their workouts and their Shakeology. And selfishly for me, I wanna see what you guys are doing. I hope we all do job one together, but there's really no way for me to see your check-ins unless like you're someone who's in my bod group or I just don't see it. So please join mine, be a part of mine. Let me see what you're doing, but also take advantage of this collective. And if there are any questions about that, please drop it in the chat. Um, Crystal, I'm starting job one Monday, December 13th. So if you, and I really need someone to tell me this, can, when you get a chance, you can tell me later, make sure that you're able to invite someone like a fellow coach to your BOD group and they can join, they can accept. I think, I think they can. I don't think there's any rule on like, someone can't be in someone else's BOD group. Um, but please let me know that because we already have like eight emails listed. And, and honestly, it's just to help you guys out. Really, it's okay. Awesome. Thank you, Brainy. It's really to be like, hey, for the month of December, if you want to have more participation in your BOD group and you want to do 0% more work, just join this collective and then have your posts go to everyone. So that all makes sense. I know we talked about this on Saturday, but I know some of you guys weren't on. And if there's any questions on that, please let me know because I think that could be helpful, right? We don't have to continue it after December, but if you find I really loved having a dozen extra posts every day, cool. Let's As long as it's no more work for you. And I would just say, make sure all notifications are off in every other group except the one that you run. Okay, so that's my our December collective next announcement. Um, I think that's it. We had a couple other things, but I want to get to more important stuff. So tonight, I forget what I even called this call, like ending the month strong or something, but we tend to have a call like this, you know, if a Monday falls, if the end of the month falls around a Monday, because it's really important to understand like how you do one thing is really how you do all things. 
if you get to this point in, your, in the month and you throw your hands up and you say, I'm done, there's a big launch coming on Thursday. I'm just going to rely on that launch. You're cheapening your business because there are people that needed your help today. There are people that need your help tomorrow. There is someone who is going to be ready. I would highly recommend you share one more side-by-side. -side. And you know what, I, what we talked about last week is a side-by-side -side transformation is not to show that you're losing weight every week. That's not going to happen. Some of you guys aren't even on a weight loss journey right? A side-by-side -side is to take people through your program with you to say, I'm in the trenches. I'm always on the journey. But what I would encourage you to do, maybe tonight or tomorrow, it's time for one of those big throwbacks, right? Maybe it's time for one of those, I joined six months ago and here's how, how I was feeling. Even if it's not a crazy physical transformation, here's where I was mentally energy-wise and here I am today. And I know you've seen me share my story and honestly, I wonder sometimes if I'm sharing too often, like if you have fears, put them out there, right? But I'm telling you this because I don't want to go back to that person six months ago. I loved her. I'm not going back there, right? Maybe you're someone who does a throwback from three years ago to now, or maybe you're someone that, you know what, you, you feel like you kind of backslid in your health journey. And it's more of a recommitment to yourself by saying, I've done this once, I'll do it again. But I think you need to get really, really honest with where you are with what Beachbody has done for your health. And it might be tonight or tomorrow, actually tonight, because why am I saying tomorrow? Do something today that you can do. It might be that moment where you have to do that like major throwback to now, right? Even if it's not a crazy change physically. A lot of you guys never had a big weight loss journey, right? I, I've never had this massive physical change, but I have had a mental shift like crazy. I have had a gut shift like crazy. I am not the same person I was nine years ago and I never want to go back to who she was. And that's the type of stuff that moves the needle. So I say all that to say, don't you dare wait until Thursday for job one. Yeah, I want y'all to help 10 people the day job one launches and you need to do the prep work. You need to have been doing the prep work if you want to have a really big launch. But also you gotta, help, you gotta talk about where you're at tonight. So that was the longest intro ever. I feel like Josh Coates because he does like 30 minute intros on our calls. But I've asked Amanda Trader, I've asked her, just kind of pre-asked her a couple questions and we're going to do a little Q&A style tonight where I just wanted to get her feedback on how she approaches the month, right? Now she's someone like me. She's like bull in a China shop the first 10 days of the month being like, let's help people now, let's help people now. But there have been moments where she's, maybe gotten to a point in the month where she's not at her goals that she wants to have, right? And she never gives up. She never just puts her feet up and, and says, this is hard. I'm just going to go chill for a little bit. Now that doesn't mean she doesn't have harmony time and she actually needs more of that, but she's someone who is just such an incredibly hard worker that I wanted you to hear from someone who's not me, who's still relatively new in the business. You guys, she's not even a year and a half into her business. Okay. She started working summer of 2020, not even 18 months into this thing right? She's had incredible success. She's a diamond coach. She hit success club every single month. She just hit success club all-star for 12 months back in July. I mean, she's someone who is a consistency powerhouse. Also someone who never really had big intentions of working her business. So I say all that to say, um, Amanda, you can unmute yourself. You should be, yeah, Kelly, she is wonderful. We talked a little bit about these questions beforehand, but I just think it'd be so great for them to hear from you. So first question that we always want to hear is what inspires you to keep showing up month after month for your business? So whenever I think about whenever you asked me that and I thought it through, I was like, honestly, doing our transformation posts weekly helps me every week re re-see, revisit like my why of how far I've came from that day one. And then what continues me like striving forward every day in my business is those people that I help each month. I'm like, I think to myself of, I know where I felt that day one because I share it every week now in my newsfeed. So I know how they're feeling. And then I know where I am today and how their life is going to change because of this. So it just brings that excitement every time somebody new is in the group or somebody in your team like shares their transformation. And you're like, I had a part of that. I want to continue that. I love that. And I said this would be casual and something just struck me. So you obviously share your transformation often and you've had an incredible transformation. How do you facilitate your, your people you coach sharing their transformations? Do you do something like that in your BOD group or how do you collect those stories of, of your teammates doing that? 
Every week in the bot group, I try to have a challenge be of something of a transformation or um, where they feel today from where they were the past week. So every week, they're also kind of thinking about their own journeys and talking about them and, and you know, bringing them out. And I think that that helps them kind of solidify why they continue to show up too. Love that. Okay. And it's just like, I think you just hit the nail on the head with like the joy has to be in your journey, like number one, because like, if you, if you get so caught up in the extras of this business, then we tend to forget, like, why did I join in the first place? Like I joined because when you and I had our first zoom, you had no intention of building something that was going to be this big business. So I think that's really important to know that you never lost sight of your goals and your journey. And you are someone who always takes on a new challenge in her health her nutrition, her fitness, whatever it may be. It doesn't mean you have to be perfect, right? Please tell everyone real quick right now that you're not perfect and that you like as well. So (laughs) yes, I had like half a sheet of pumpkin bars yesterday. I'm not perfect. (laughs) Human, she's human. She just is, she found her groove. And I think that's really important. Like I'm sure you enjoyed Thanksgiving with your family. I'm sure you enjoy, you know, you have a cake baking business. But I no longer feel bad because yeah. Yeah, Yep. love that. Okay, second question. What do you focus on the most during the last few days of the month to help more people before the month is over? I stop all new invites and I go back through all of my past people who have given me any inkling of, you know, being interested, but having some kind of reserve of why they can't. So even if you've told me, no, I'm going to come back to you and say, you know, this is kind of your last chance Uh, to get into the next group and, you know, kind of go to where they said they were um, held back to how I can help them not feel that way anymore or something of that nature, but definitely all in the follow-up. I follow up that, like this last week, I don't send any new invites. It's all connections, of course, to keep the flow in and then all follow-ups. I love that. I wrote that in the chat and almost knocked my computer over. But I think that's such a good point because sometimes at the end of the month, we're like, how many new people can I invite? How many people can I invite? And number one, if if we haven't been inviting for the last 30, 60, 90 days, you know, people aren't going to magically come out of the woodworks. But I think what you said there is like, just stop, just stop all those new invites. Where's your list? And it goes back to your organization. Like, where is your list of people that at some point had an interest that the conversation fell off or the timing wasn't right? Or, you know, that kind of thing where you, you, you pull people in that you've had this conversation with before. So Amanda, how do you track your follow-ups? Like, do you have a notebook? What do you do to make sure no one falls through the cracks? I do the binder method that I learned from Tessa. Um, so I have every day, I'm gonna, I'll try to get it out. It's huge though. I need to kind of make it a little smaller, but my first pages are, Um, my trackers. So I just do just like what Ashley does is just, you know, my connections, invites, and my coaches, and I just do little tallies. But if those, if somebody messages me back, I have an interest side and I just write the month. So this starts from January of 2020 uh, that I put whoever said anything to me. So I have a list of always a flow of follow-ups and I cross them out once they join, but you're always on my follow-up list until you join me. Love that. I'm writing this right now. Oh my gosh. I got to like stop my computer on the stand. Interest list until they join. I love that. And and similarly, if someone's like, well, I can't do a, you know, I'm not a a binder person. I can't do that. You can do the same thing on an app on your phone. You know, you can have literally the month, January, 2021 up until this month, and you can simply have names. And I I do something similar. I have one big follow-up list But the only way they come off of it is if they just completely ghost me for for a long time or they say no and and no, I'm not interested at all. And then that very rarely happens, but I will take them off my list. Um, So literally a binder method of every month is a new page. And the only names that go on there are the people that have had some sort of like they've said yes to an invite or you've gotten through somewhat of the invite process. Is that right? Yeah, like um, like anytime we've hosted a free week, like I'm having a free week this week, um, and anybody that says, yeah, I'll give it a try, you're going to go on my follow-up list because you're interested in getting the free week, even though you maybe have said that you didn't want to. <laughs> to. Welcome, Shark. Um, so they're just all, no matter what I've invited you to, if you've given any interest in any of it, I throw you on the list. 
And then what do you do when someone joins? I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you know, but like, do you highlight them? Do you like just let make note in your binder that this person has joined you with something? I, I just cross their name out and then I have my desktop calendar that keeps me organized in the new signups and how to keep connection with them to help them definitely strong their first week that they start. Love it. Okay, Anna had said too, if we can share, yeah, we will definitely do. I know Tessa has gone live and shared her binder method before in Team Glow. I'll see if maybe the two of you or one of you can go live and share again. I don't wanna take up too much time on this call sharing that, but essentially I know both of them have this like three ring binder and they literally have the tab based on months of the year and they'll have their daily activities, but they'll also have their, their monthly names of people. Cause I personally, you guys, I don't write down the names of people. I say happy birthday to, or the people that like my post about my child, you know, like, I'm not like, Hey, I said hi to Karen today. Sorry. First name that pops into my head, but I'm not writing that name down because there's no reason for it. You know, for me, I'm doing all the touch points of connections, but then if I actually get to a point, even when I invite someone, I used to write their name down and I personally, you know, do what you want you guys, but I don't do that anymore because it was just taking time. Like, why am I writing down a name before I even know if they're going to respond to this or even be interested, but when they do respond and they are at all interested, I need to make sure that that name does not fall through the cracks of my own business. Um, Okay, um, Amanda, anything you want to add to that before we move on? No, no, no that's perfect. Okay, cool. Um, third question, do you have any best practices? This is a, a good one for cutting out the fluff of our business and focusing solely on the behaviors that can move the needle in someone joining us the last couple of days. So how do you cut out the fluff and focus on what you need to do? I stay off of my Canva. I stay off of Instagram reels. Um, I stay off on like any kind of like wanting to create any new content. Like it's the worst time on the last week of the month to try to change anything up. Stick to what you know, stick to what has worked in the past, change it up in the beginning of the next month if you want to, but the final week, stick to what you know um, and just focus on those income producing activities every day till you reach those goals. I love that. How simple, like stick to what you know. I love that you said, like, don't try to do something different in the last couple of days. Save that, not that you're not going to grow, but save that for later. Save that for when you've hit your minimum goals next month. And then you have a little more creative time. Um, I think that's so huge because I know we're like, we got to get our birthday messages out. We got to get a new Instagram reel up. We got to change this filter. Like we don't really, I mean, if we miss a day, it's okay. It's, and if, especially if it's not something that's to your bottom line, is this helping someone that could be ready today? the first initial messages or initial relationship with someone is probably not going to turn into an immediate sign up. So everything you're saying is just go back to those basics and stay simple. Um, at least that's how I'm paraphrasing it. But last question, was there anything else you want to add to that before I move on? No. Nope. Okay. Nope. Final question. Um, and then we'll have a little bit of time to talk more job one stuff, but what is something specific? I always love to say like action items, you know, we have people on this call that are at, at our at success club zero. We have people on this call that are at 10, 14, pushing for big goals by the end of the month. So what's something that they can do tonight? I always say before their head hits the pillow that could grow their business forward. I think tonight is super easy to get out there and honestly, like do a Cyber Monday ends at midnight. I'm, you know, if you're at SC zero, I, I have three codes to give you or three giveaways of some kind. And if you're, you know, it's the holidays, even us as coaches are like, I can't give them a $25 gift. Like I need that full commission for my own, you know, ends to meet. Then just put in there. Like I told my coach earlier today, just say I have $20 off to give to three people. The pet challenge packs are already $20 off. They don't know that it's your deal that you're giving away this cyber Monday ends at midnight. Got to sign up with me now kind of thing. So that's what I thought would be really good for today. I love that. I love that you brought that up because are incentives. Okay. Like, yes, you, you legally can offer something. If you want to offer an Amazon gift card up to, I don't know what the cap is, but you can't technically can't offer cash. Do you have to do that? Absolutely not. Like we sometimes forget with this total solution pack sale, they're already discounted. You guys, our regular total solution pack is like $160. And right now it's 140. So instead of just considering that the, the normal price, it's not the normal price. And I think what you said, Amanda, is like, call it, you guys are your own marketers, right? Like a lot of my follow-up today were, this is a Cyber Monday deal. It does end at midnight. I don't care that tomorrow is the end of the month. Cyber Monday ends tonight. 
So you can go through and maybe it's a night where you do stay up a little bit later and you might need an extra coffee tomorrow if you're not on the refresh with me. But if your business is really truly going to be a non-negotiable, like I will do, one of the top coaches used to say, I won't give, I couldn't have given a fingernail more, right? If you actually want to, like, if you really want to be honest with that, you might not be able to cozy up in bed at nine o'clock tonight. You might need to stay up and do some hustle work to be able to make those goals happen. And if they don't, at least you did the work because what you're doing is setting yourself up for December, January, February, what you're doing right now. Um, I love that. I love that. Amanda. Okay. Anything else that you want to add to this topic of ending the month strong? Um, you've obviously been able to make this goal happen for gosh, I don't know, almost 18 months now. And I'm sure you've had months that it has happened easier than other months, but anything else that you wanted to add or any tips? No, I think, I think we covered it all. It's just, it's been, it's been a rough month for me, even, you know, to kind of scratch my bare minimum goals, but I, I'm, I know that by those hard months, you kind of just, you work even harder and it, and I know it's going to pay off just the time has told, even in my year of coaching that those hard months are like the best months leading forward. So you just keep pressing forward. I love that. Love that. Thank you, Amanda, so much. And that, that, takes me to a Josh Coates quote, which is how you perform in your valleys will be how you perform in your peaks. You guys, can we be honest? This is the lowest number of people I've helped all year. I'm like, my minimum is helping 10 people and I'm sending out a share card tonight to my friend Courtney, she better respond to my text to help, help me help my 10th person. And, and yes, this is a relationship business for me, absolutely. And I have numbers goals because this is also a business. So call it like it is, November has been a slower month for me. At the same time, my focus is also on different things this month with going through a major qualification for elite and helping coaches really grow their businesses. So I am so proud of November, but as far as numbers go, my numbers are the lowest they've been all year. But I've been around long enough to know that business is cyclical and business is a pattern and business businesses have predictions of ebbs and flows. And I know as long as I don't change my conviction, my beliefs, the way I show up and how much effort I put in, I have the trust that things come back to me. Typically right after a slower month, things happen that I could not have predicted the following month. I know that December is not going to be hard for me. I know that I'm going to help people with job one. I know that it's not going to be at all a struggle to help people with this program and just to help people in general, because I showed up through the hard in November. I'm here. I'm constant. And I think that's the thing, Amanda, too. Like, I know you don't have to unmute, but I'm just, I'm sure you can see this too, is we see people have these, you know, exciting starts and then the real business work sets in. And if we're not careful, we listen to the voice in our head that says, see, beginner's luck. You can't do this. This is hard, right? When reality is this is a business. You just have to keep doing the right things that you know you need to do over and over, which is take care of your mind, take care of your body, show up on social, show up in the inbox. That's what we do as coaches, right? And if we slack on either, either one of those four prongs, what did I say? Show up for your mind. I'm going to write that down in case you guys want to show up for your body show up on social as a person, also someone who's on a health journey, show up in, and social also means bod group, okay? Show up in the inbox. Now, are there other things like grow your network? Yes, but show up in the inbox can mean engage with people, invite people, follow up with people, show up for your mind. You better work on that mindset, girl. If you're with Push a Diamond, we're reading Build to Last, we're developing a leader of leaders mindset. Show up for your body, you gotta do the work. You can't be an accountability coach if you don't have accountability to your own self. It doesn't mean you're perfect. It means you're accountable and show up on social. So show up. Don't look at social media as, you know, this, this negative or dark thing because you get to create your social media circle and you get to show a light and show an encouragement every day. That's your job. Who cares if other people use it for, for fun and pleasure? Like this is your job. So you're going to show up because it is your job. And I love job one because it ties into everything we do as coaches. Like the three day refresh is my job. I'm not going to cheat on this thing because this is my job. Like hitting success club is my job. And as of now, two-time elite coach, two-time elite team, that's my job. So when you start to think about it, like your job, even if our goals are, are really different, you show up differently, right? 
you probably enjoyed the heck out of Thanksgiving dinner, but you're probably not eating crazy leftovers five days later if you are no judgment, but time to make some tweaks because your job is healthy eating most of the time to fuel your body with dense foods. Your job is to press play on a workout program. Your job is to read or listen to something that develops your mind. And your job is to show up and talk to people. And when you have those things and you can come to me and say, Ash, I do these things religiously and nothing's happening. It's either a sense of worth or a belief issue, or you just haven't put in enough time. Okay. Cause there's nothing else I could tell you. If you're telling me you're doing all of those things, your free brick and mortar business that you did not have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest into open. If you're doing all of those things, I can promise you it's a mindset, a sense of worth, or you actually haven't been doing those things religiously every day yet. Right. Can we get some real talk here? Like, is anyone feeling me on that? Right. Cause I will bring the, I will bring the love, but it's going to come with the side of toughness. I'm going to say, Hey, what's your health look like? What is your, what does your meal tracker look like the last seven days? What does your business activity tracker look like the last 30 days? Right. Why are you showing up? Why do you, why are you still here showing up? Why is this important to you? Because let me tell you, you're, and I'm getting on a little tangent and I'll wrap it up. You're doing yourself a disservice if you're here and you're just not living up a little more to your potential every day. Because some of you guys are held back by fear. You're still worried about what other people think. And trust me, like I've been on this journey for nine years and I still get in my head. I get it. Some of you actually, it's a fear of success and you're worried to grow your team. You're worried to grow your customer base. You're honestly like the fear of more income. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a real thing because you, maybe you don't feel like you're worth it. You're worthy of that. And you are, and you are, because I'm someone who never felt worthy to earn income ever, ever, because of the examples that I saw growing up, that it, you, it, we weren't allowed to be comfortable financially. It was not okay. Like we had to struggle. And so I'm telling you this business, you're sitting on a gold mine. And if you don't realize that you guys do some soul searching, Screw anyone, sorry, that sounds really mean, but screw whatever negative things people have to say about this business because you get to decide what your future is going to be with it. Like I said um, one time the other day, it was like, you know, two people can watch the same movie. One person can think it was the best movie they've ever seen in their entire life. The other person demands their money back at the theater because they hated it. What's the difference? The difference is perspective. So you can approach your business saying, this is absolutely going to work for me. It's going to take time and effort and I'm going to do everything I can. And I'm showing up because it's my business Or you can say, well, I'm going to try it. And it probably won't work for me because I don't have a big social media following or that person said, no, it probably won't work for me, but I'm going to try it. Right. It's perspective. That second person is going to be gone within two months. That first person is going to be scrappy, relentless, hungry, and unstoppable. And she's going to do things in two years that will completely change her world. And so I just say that to give you guys encouragement. Like it's time we're all adults and we look ourselves in the mirror and we say, do I want this? Cool. Am I showing up for my mind? Am I showing up for my body? Am I showing up on social? Am I showing up in the inbox? You guys, if you haven't been prepping for the launch of job one, you missed the ball. I'm telling you, it's okay. It's okay. But you're going to have to do the work in December to have a big launch in January right? Part of your business is owning what's coming and understanding that we had a snoop group for the last three weeks. We have a a huge launch happening on Thursday. I hope your fingers are ready to get your own launch because that is your job, right? And your job is to have been prepping for this. And if you didn't, it's your business. No one's mad, but you can't be upset by the, the lack of influx of people by the work that you didn't do. So start today. Start today as you're, as you're prepping job one and you're also following up with people, like Amanda said, you're not sending out new invites right now, you're following up and you're starting to talk about job one and your stories and you're continuing that over and over. And you know that you have a job one snoop group that we're going to blow up on Thursday when we start getting our access. And something else that you can do is create a Facebook event and invite every person you've been talking to, to job one. Because a Facebook event enables them to get a notification where you can then also follow it up with an invite or some of those people might even click that they're interested and they've done the work for you and then you slide into their inbox. Plenty of things to do. But you've got to sit down for a moment and have a marketing plan for your month of December. And tonight I'm going to finish up our monthly calendar on on Canva. 
um, <laughs> which can be distracting. And I also have a big desktop calendar that I already ripped off November. And I wrote down everything important happening in my business in December. When my BOD group starts, our coach sneak peek of the month, um, all the launches, it's all written down. And then I just reverse engineer it and say, where's my focus this week, right? Because all month long, I invite to my BOD group. It's never a bad time. But I have more specific focuses throughout the month based on what's happening. So after today, after Cyber Monday, for me, once I lock in my SC20 minimum, I personally am all job one starting tomorrow. If you are not at Success Club, do not do that because you have November 30th to help people in November. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, Kat, it's never too late. It's never too late. If you didn't want to do this, you would have quit. You would have handed in your cancellation. But if this is important, you show up. Your ship hasn't sailed because you are the you are the captain of the ship. And my job, I think sometimes like you guys are never a disappointment to me. I, all I want to do is be this beacon of like, you can keep going. And trust me, I'm not going to hold back on any goals. I got big goals for 2022. I'm not holding back. I love you where you are. And I will always share the vision and say, who's running with me? Because I need to know. I need to know like who literally wants to run and who just, who wants to be maybe like, not run and that's okay, but I just want to know. And I will never, ever, ever judge anyone for not wanting to run and sprint with me in this business. That's okay. But I'm here as a, hopefully a beacon to say, if you're here, I believe you're still here for a reason. I believe it. I really, really do. And all that I'm going to do is always hope to lead by inspiration and say, if, if this girl can somehow this like really downward spiral girl in her twenties can get her life together because of this business and create a life because of this business. So can you, so can you, and I, and I'm just, I'm so blessed by it. And my life has completely and utterly changed in nine years and it's never too late. Okay. 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 No, I don't know. I just mean for your own business. Like my goal, all I want for everyone is what your goals are for you. Okay. Can we talk about job one real quick and then we'll be done. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, all I really have is just a couple things to help you guys with the launch. Um, you should be blowing, I would say blow up your stories about it and obviously talk about other things, but make sure people know that there's a new 20 minute program dropping in three days um, and share that, you know, let people know. I would never send the sample link to someone. I would say, great, here's our info group. Here's the link to join. Cause I want them into the group as opposed to just keeping that conversation in a message. Of course, I'm going to follow up. They're on my interest list now, right? After tonight, I hope you all please have an interest list and maybe even categorize it. I know some of you guys are like, yes categorize and let's go. Um, but please understand like, that's going to be your, that should be your focus. If you really want to have a, a launch when this launches on Thursday, there in my mind, there's no reason why you all can't help three people on Thursday. And we all are on the success club board by Thursday night. There's no reason why that can't happen. Right. Cause we're, we're sitting on the edge of a major launch. And those of you that still want to rank advance your business and you have that goal or to get a rank back by the end of the year. Oh my gosh. Launch time is the time to do it especially when it's a launch that only coaches and preferred customers can get. Um, also, you guys may have seen on the national wake up call, but anyone who purchases a, a job one total solution pack goes into a weekly drawing in December to win a job one a specific job one beach body bike, like a job one beach body design mixed bike. There are weekly drawings. All you have to do is purchase job one in December to be in the drawing. That's huge. Obviously get people into the Snoop group. Um, tomorrow in our Facebook Snoop group, there will be the package options going up for everyone and what that looks like for them to join. Be ready with your pictures to shout out everyone who opts in on Thursday. I don't care if it's current coach, new preferred customer, new coach, whoever it is. You don't have to be fancy. Just pull their profile picture and maybe write a word on it or not. If you don't know how to do that, that's fine. But put their picture in the Snoop group and say, I'm so excited. Claire just joined. She's so excited to do this. She's a mom, a wife, like give, pump her up, right? Put your own picture on there. Be like, I just got my job one. I cannot wait for this program. We have to create the party. We have to create the FOMO. If you all want to start with me on December 13th, that's great. Or if you're starting next Monday, whatever works, but you need to make sure people know, like we got to do this now. This is not a program to start after Christmas. This is a program to get us through Christmas, to get us through the holidays without feeling like we are in a much worse place than we were three months ago. So that's, so the, the whole thing is, you know, you gotta make the preferred customer or coach sign up a no brainer. It's a no brainer. Obviously it's a really no brainer because they, they can, we're the only ones that can get it for the next two weeks, either existing coaches or preferred customers or new ones. 
But we sometimes overthink this. We probably all overthink a lot of things. If I do say so myself, I do the same thing. But really what it comes down to is when you're signing someone up for job one on Thursday, if they are not currently a coach or PC, I simply ask them, you know, how, which, which option do you want? Coach or preferred customer, they're both the same. The coach option will give a referral commission back to you instead of to me. That's how I'm explaining it. If they have a friend or family member want to join, that just means the referral commission goes back to them. Why? Because that is the only difference. The only difference is if they have a friend or family member that wants to join, they get the commission instead of the commission going to me for them doing the work to refer them to me, right? How simple do we make that? So again, I'm going to write that in the chat if you want to um, copy that down or have an idea, but that's not the right thing. Let me copy that. So the coach is simply the ability for referral commission to go to you instead of me. That's it. They don't, everything else is the exact same. They get the discounts, they get everything else. And at the same time, you guys, that should inspire you to ask for referrals right? Even if they're not ready to join job one, if they're like, no, Christmas, I can't, no worries. Do you know of anyone else who might be interested in this 20 minute program? I just, I'm so excited about it. And I want to get this word out because I think it could really change a lot of lives. What is the harm in asking that? One of my new preferred customers, Stephanie is a rock star and considering coaching. And she was a referral from a preferred customer because after we, I watched that first training with KK, um, for team cup, or for Beachbody in general before Team Cup, she talked about the power of referrals. And I will admit, I completely got away from referrals for a long time. But what does it hurt whether someone signs up or not? They were interested, right? To say, hey, do you know of anyone that might need a really quick workout and an accountability group and awesome nutrition? And if they're saying no, they might be rethinking their decision if you're saying all that, right? But ask the referral, ask for someone because you never know, that person might not be ready, but they might know someone who really needs this right now. And even if they are ready, great. Would you like a to earn a referral commission instead of me? If so, if you think that would be something you're interested in, let's get you signed up as a coach instead of a preferred customer, right? Can we all admit sometimes we overthink the sign up process? It's simple, we just keep it simple. Um, okay, last couple quick things and then we are done. Um, yeah, so let's just go all in. And I don't mean all in by like, don't have Christmas dinner. I mean. I thought of this thing today when I was making this is let's just go all in to be the best we've ever felt on new year's day. Like what if that was our, let's, let's feel the best we've ever felt on new year's day. That doesn't mean let's be perfect and wake up new year's day and be like, I feel great. Let's feel the best that we've ever felt on new year's day than we have felt on any new year's day ever before. You know, if you're like me, you might've been slightly hungover. You might've been kind of tired. Like I'm not saying don't have fun on new year's Eve. I'm saying let's do the things over the next 32 days where we can like hashtag best I ever felt New Year's Day. What if we use job one? Cause we'll be about halfway through the program. If you're starting with me on December 13th, what if we use that program to simply not backslide and to simply wake up on January one, already feeling like our, our wheels are still turning as opposed to getting that locomotive started from scratch again. Okay. That's my challenge for us as a team. Now I would love it. Of course, if we all did the same program, um, I think, you know, I think it's a smart idea to give a little bit of a week before you get started, just because some people join late and some people need the resistance loops and don't want to start without it. So I'm going to challenge you start with me on December 13th, start day one of job one on December 13th with me. Do you have to? Of course not. Do I want you to? Yes. And if you join my bod group and we all join each other's bod groups, we'll literally all be on the same day and it'll be fun and go all in, meaning don't miss a workout. Don't skip it. It's 20 freaking minutes. Crystal did it like coast to coast. For their, don't miss a workout. Just don't, don't skip it. It's five days a week. Don't miss a Shakeology. Haven't missed one. Oh, I muted myself. I haven't missed one in over five years. I think, I mean, there was a couple in like 2015. I think I missed two days. Don't miss a Shakeology. You shouldn't have a ton of leftovers, right? If your husband's drinking them great, but like you should drink them every single day because that's how you really feel the difference. Not, not a hit or miss getting your superfoods in. So start with me on December 13th. Drink a shake, never, ever, ever miss a Shakeology. Read a book. And for that, I say five to six days a week. Like I don't do personal development every single day. You know, I'm, I watch my church online on Sundays and that's really my spiritual development. Um, I don't listen to PD every day, but I do five to six days a week. Just do that with me. I hope nothing I'm saying is like, oh my gosh, Ash has gone crazy over the holidays. This is all I'm asking. 
Let's not miss a workout. Let's not miss a shake. Let's read five to six days a week. Let's chug water and let's track our meals. Aaron, love it. Love it. Yeah, we should do a retreat. So don't miss a workout, a, a job one workout. Don't miss a shake. Five to six days a week, read your book. I'm even saying take a day off. Like don't do it every day. Miss a day is fine, right? Chug your water. And in our diamond push, we could be like chug, tagging each other to chug our water. And what's the last thing I said? Track your meals. Track them. You don't have to track Christmas day. Maybe you guys do like a lot of eating that day and that's fine. Okay, deal. Track your meals on the bot app or if you're someone who likes to write them down, do it. But track your meals. Why? Because you can't improve what you don't measure in anything. Okay. Yeah. Gail, oh my gosh, you guys do not miss, do not miss your PD. Miss it one day. That's fine. Don't miss it two days. Just don't miss two days in a row, please. It, it feeds your soul. Okay. Last thing we can do that. We can do that for 30 days. So what if we went all in as a coach team, because I know we're all scattered and I have six minutes, so I'm going to take them. So buckle down, hunker in. I know we're all scattered and running our own bod groups. I know some of us communicate more regularly than others. And just know, first off, my door is always open. I never want to chase anyone down. And sometimes I feel like if I'm knocking on your door, always talking about business stuff, then I come across as someone who doesn't care about you as a person. So instead, I like to be genuine and authentic in my reach outs. But just know that if you guys want to grow and you're still here, like the best thing you could do is send me a message. It's the best thing you can do. I don't know if some people think like I'm not going to be receptive. Like I love, if you're talking to me, it means something's happening in your heart for this business. It does. If you're not talking to me, I don't know what's going on in your head. Okay. So you joined me, you trusted me, or you trusted someone in my organization. Please know that open communication is always there, you guys. Um, but what if we just did it? What if we did more things together, even though we're leading, a lot of us are leading separate groups. So what if, what if you took advantage of my December collective idea and dropped your email and added all those emails to your bod group? You guys, what if we started job one together on December the, the 13th? What if we went all in with these things in addition to sharing our weekly updates in our social media? Yes, over the holidays. That's when people need it the most. The average person gains how much weight over the holidays? Does anyone know that? Halloween to New Year's Day? Anyone, anyone? This is the, the latest that I've heard. Eight to 12 pounds. Yeah, right in, yeah, right in the middle eight to 12 pounds, a newborn baby over the holidays, right? And it's not all about weight, but it is about having some sense of let's, let's be honest about taking care of ourselves. Like, can we just take care of ourselves in a messy way that works for us? Sometimes in the year you get really strict and really intense. And sometimes in the year, we're like, I just want to take care of me a little bit each day. And I will tell you, December is typically the latter for people. Okay, typically 99% of people have a million and two things going on over the next 30 days, but they just want to feel okay come New Year's Day. So all of this tonight, I hope you absorb what Amanda told you. Success leaves clues, you guys. I hope you will absorb what, you know, I'm sure her or Tessa, now don't bombard them, but these, these ladies have achieved a non-negotiable goal for their business over a year and a half and two years running. They figured some stuff out. They, they show up on the hard days. They show up on the easier days when things feel like they're flowing more. They always show up for their health and fitness and they better show up for their PD, which I'm sure they do. But that's the reason if you're looking for why is maybe she there and I'm not, the reason is number one, consistency. You can't compare anyone's chapter 27 to your chapter one, but also like, look at what they're doing. I know you guys look to look at me, but like, look at other people on the team that are doing these things that you want to emulate. They show up. They share their trackers, they're on the calls. They're constantly doing a new challenge. On Saturday morning, we talked about when's the last time you challenge yourself above and beyond just a fitness program, right? When's the last time? And if somebody did 75 hard, I don't, I'm not saying you have to do that, but when's the last time you gave yourself an extra challenge? Like some, some people are giving up alcohol for December. That's awesome. Some people are you know, focusing on no carbs at dinner, back to tracking. Awesome. But don't just say it, like do something that you can realistically do. Don't say it because it sounds good, Say it because you could actually really commit to it and it could really become a possible lifestyle change in addition to a short period of time. Okay. Yeah. Get back to basics. You guys, when you feel better, your business reflects it. And guess what else? You don't feel salesy in your invites. You don't feel pushy in your invites. You don't feel like you're bugging someone because you're, you really, as cheesy as it sounds, you feel like you're giving them a gift of an opportunity. 
So let's just end it there. And I will tell you my one regret at the beginning of my business is not sharing this with more people and not making it more public that I could help people. You know, I lost two members of my family very close to me in the same year, both of preventable health conditions. And really not a day goes by that I don't think of them. And I think of like, well, what if I had been brave enough? I know that's not on me what happened in their lives, but what if I had been a little more brave and a little more put myself out there and a little more loving and grateful? Could things have been different? I don't know. I don't go down that road, but I do know that you're sitting on a gift. Please don't waste it. Please don't waste it because of people's, whoever people are, people's opinions, right? Please take care of yourself. Please fight to be there for your loved ones as long as we're, we're, we have. And please share that. And if you don't want to do that, you shouldn't be a coach. I love you either way, but this is not for you. This is for you if your life is being changed by it and you genuinely want more people's lives to be changed. Okay, that's all I got. So tonight, it might be a late night for you. You're not at your goals yet. You might be hustling. You should be hustling. You can sacrifice a night of some, some eight hour sleep. You gotta do some work. You gotta, you have Cyber Monday. If you're in the Eastern time zone, you got three hours left. Go make your own marketing plan. Go make your own accountability. Go message in our group. If you need someone to help hold you accountable, go do it. Because honestly, smart people ask for help. Okay, let's do what we can do tonight. Let's do what we can do tomorrow. You know, if you're not at your goals tonight, you wake up and you create it. You create some sort of incentive for November 30th because November's not over tomorrow. Only until the clock strikes midnight on November 30th do we shift gears and we're like, okay, December has arrived. So I need a hand up if you're willing to go all in the next 24 hours and do something because you're still here an hour later. So something caught on with you, right? Go do something that makes you nervous because those are the things that are going to move your business forward. If you like doing it, probably not going to move your business forward. Being honest, if it scares you, makes you a little nervous, that's what you need to go do. And there's no wrong way to invite someone. Maybe you need to call a friend or family member and you need to ask if they would like to do this with you. You got to do it. It's time. Okay. Crystal's working late. Crystal, if you want to go to Diamond Push and throw your Zoom up, if you are working, please do that. Um, let's do a boomerang. I'm going to end the recording here.